Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to manage virtual machines on Oracle VirtualBox. Before starting actual Linux tutorials, I want to make sure you know how to use these important features of virtualization. For example, how to manage virtual machines, how you can create and add virtual machines, how to import and export virtual machines, how you can manage the virtual machine snapshots, how to create and manage virtual machine groups and how you can edit the virtual machine settings. So first thing I like to talk about is VirtualBox extension pack. Extension pack provides us additional features in VirtualBox because when we install VirtualBox it comes with base package. We need to install extension pack if we want to use these extra features. For example, if we want to run our virtual machine remotely by using VirtualBox Remote Desktop Protocol, it's also called uh, VRDP. If we want to use disk image encryption, if we want to provide the host webcam access to the guest, as well as if we want cloud integration, then we need to install the extension pack. To install VirtualBox extension pack, we will go to VirtualBox website and scroll down a little bit until you see the VirtualBox extension pack. And you can just click on all supported platforms and your VirtualBox extension pack is being downloaded here. Once done, you can go to VirtualBox, go to File, Tools, and extension pack manager then click on install and you can look at your downloaded package click open yes install scroll down the agreement and agree as you can see oracle virtualbox extension pack has installed now let's go to the file menu and explore these features. First one is preferences. Click on it. These are the general preferences. This is default virtual machine folder. If you want to change, you can change it. Next one is input. These are the options for shortcuts. This one for virtual box and this one for the virtual machine. Next one is update. You can set the preferences for update, how often you want to update. You can set your language preferences, your display, proxy and interface, how it will look like. The next two features are import and export appliances. In VirtualBox, you can import and export your virtual machines in open virtual format. It's called OVF and it will generate the extension OVA, Open Virtual Appliance. This is industry standard and supported by many virtualization products, for example, VMware and VirtualBox. So you can export your virtual machine from VirtualBox, you can save it and it can be used anywhere in VMware or VirtualBox or any other platform. Let's see how it works. First. Uh, we have to export appliances then we will try how we can import it so click on export appliance as you can see I have four virtual machines so let's see 2023.2 I want to export this machine then you can go to format setting this is the folder where it will save and you can give it name this is also format option, I will keep it default, then appliance setting, if you want to change name you can change the name, I will keep it default and click on finish, as you can see it start exporting the appliance. Depending on size of the image it will take some time, I will pause the video and resume once it's done. Alright, our export is completed. So this is the .ova file and you can see it is 6.43 gig. Now let's see how we can import this virtual machine. Go to file and import appliance and locate the file .ova open click next and you can give any name if you like 
and finish. It's importing now. Again, it can take some time. All right, import has done, and as you can see, it's added the virtual machine in the system here. So this is the way we can export and import our virtual machines. The next feature is tools. As you can see, there are five different tools. You also can access these tools from main interface. As you can see here, tools, and you can click on this small menu, and these five tools are available here as well. The first tool is extension pack manager. We can install and uninstall VirtualBox extension pack. The next one is virtual media manager. This tool is used to manage your VirtualBox disk images. As you can see, all virtual machines list their virtual disk and their actual disk size. The next tool is network manager. You can create and manage your networks. Then the next one is uh, cloud profile editor. This tool is used to configure connection to the cloud service. And the last one is uh, VM activity overview. This tool is used to monitor performance and resources used by your virtual machines. And then next you can check your uh, update manually. Now let's discover the machine menu. By default machine menu has only two options create new virtual machines and add new virtual machine. But when you select a virtual machine from the list, machine menu will give you more options here. New and add all already there, then you have setting, clone and all the other items. So if you need to create new virtual machine, you can click on new. Then you have to give your all options and you will use an ISO image. If you want to add virtual machine, you must have a pre-built virtual machine already. And then you can click on add and you can locate to your virtual machine. If you go to Kali.org, we have two options to download Kali Linux image. So installer image is ISO image. If we download this image, then we will go to new virtual machine. If we download this virtual machine image, it is pre-built virtual machine image then we will go to add virtual machine because this is pre-built and we simply can download and add into our uh, virtual box next menu item is settings if you want to go to settings of any virtual machine first you have to select that virtual machine from the list and then you can go to settings in general tab there are basic option if you want to change name or change type or version you can change it in advance, there are a few options. The first one is a snapshot folder. We'll discuss snapshots shortly. These options are for the drag and drop and copy paste from your host system to your guest. So there are a few options. If you want to enable from host to guest or guest to host or by directional. Disk encryption, if you want to enable your disk encryption then in system first one is motherboard options if you want to change your memory you can change processor number of processors in display this is the display setting in storage option these are your disk images if you want to extend your disk you can extend it so to extend for example you click on SATA and click on add here hard hard disk then create and choose the default one vdi next click next for example you have some specific project for 20 gb or 10 gb and you need to add 10 more gbs into your disk you can just pick the 10 gb and it will add it into your system next we will discuss network it has various features and options the first one is NAT this is default mode and it provides enough functionality if all you want to browse the websites download files and emails like that next one is bridge adapter 
this is more advanced networking option if you want to directly connect with your network card then you can use this option the next one is internal network this option can be used to create a software based network and uh, which will be visible to selected virtual machines the next option is host only adopter this option can be used to create a network containing host and a set of virtual machines without need of the host physical network interface the next one is a generic driver this option is rarely used if you want to use a generic network interface so you can select a driver and you can use it the next option is nat network this is a type of internal network which allows outbound connections this option works like a home router grouping the systems using into network and preventing outside system from directly accessing the system inside the next option is cloud networking this option can be used to connect a local virtual machine to a subnet on a remote cloud service and the last option is not attached this mode acts like there is no ethernet card available or no ethernet cable was plugged in the next option is shared folder we can use this option if we need to share data between host and guest systems to use share folder we must need to install oracle virtualbox guest edition on our guest operating system the next option is clone it enables us to create a cloned copy of our virtual machine we can clone our virtual machine if we need to test our guest operating system level or if you want to back up our vm or if you want to experiment some virtual machine configuration it has two options full clone and linked clones full clone is a standalone copy and linked clone only creates the differencing disk image the next option is move we can use this option if we want to move our virtual machine to a new location on the host if we cut and paste virtual machine folder to the new location it will not work when we use move option virtual box will automatically update the new location into system the next option is export to oci uh, oci called for oracle cloud infrastructure if we want to export our virtual machine on oracle cloud infrastructure the next option is remove if you want to remove any virtual machine you can select and remove or for example i want to remove this virtual machine i can just right click on it and i can get this option here remove and we have option here remove only or delete all files i'll click on delete all files so it will delete everything related to this virtual machine and this is done the next option is uh, move to group this is quite a useful option for example i have four virtual machines here i want to make some groups of these so i'll select this machine go to the machine move to group there is no group before so i can create a new new group here then we can right click and give any name for example 2023.2 so this group is created i can drag this machine into this group now let's create another group select this virtual machine go to machine add to group so i want to create a new group and rename 2023.1 you can give any name and i want to add this machine into this group as well you also can ungroup them just click on ungroup and now you can see all machines are not in group mode the next options are start virtual machine then pause reset stop and the next option is tools as you can see it has five options here you also can access these tools by selecting a virtual machine and click on this small menu so first one is details so it will show you all the details of selected virtual machine the second option 
if you want to snapshot click on snapshots and it will show you the snapshots of the virtual machine for example i have created snapshot for this virtual machine and it will show you the snapshot here let's create a snapshot for this virtual machine it has none so take a snapshot let's see snapshot one its name click it and it created the snapshot you also can restore to the snapshot for example if you made an error and you want to go to the fresh installation you simply click on snapshot one and click on restore so your current state will be as it was at time of snapshot one if you don't need this snapshot anymore you can click and delete it delete it and your system is current the next tool is logs it will display the log viewer tool so you can search and view your logs for your selected virtual machine next option is activity it will show you the activity page so you can see the session information performance metrics of the virtual machine and the last option is file manager this will show you the guest control file manager tool and this tool enables you to manage files on your guest systems there are a few more options for example show logs this will show you the logs again then show in explorer this is the location of your virtual machine where its all files are located and create shortcut sort and search if you want to search that's everything for this video we'll see you in next one